Saint Hugh, Huguenus, Carthusian, Bishop of Lincoln, 1200, Britannia. Saint Hugh was born at Burgundy, where he first became a regular monk, and then changed into the order of the Charter House, ex monaccio Carthusiano, where he excelled as fellows in godliness and obedience. Henry II, King of England, moved by the fame of his holiness, prevailed upon him to come into England, and afterwards, with the consent of the canons, made him Bishop of Lincoln. But the man of God recoiled from such an election, and would not take the see until he had been elected again, and that time freely. His first care after taking possession of his see was to call around him men of knowledge and wisdom, with whose counsel he manfully discharged the duties of a shepherd of souls. He would not have any to take charge of any of the flock, however they might be distinguished for industry or culture, unless they had the ornament of a quiet and modest spirit. He opposed by church censure as the king's officers who practiced cruelties upon the people, in regard to the forest laws. Bright often had he to contend with King Richard, who strove to scrape money together from all quarters, and calmly disregarded his threats. He caused the body of Rosamond, layman of Henry II, to be taken out of the grave and buried outside the church, in an unhallowed place. He toiled much, and not without success, to re-establish peace between the kings of England and France, and was returned from that work into England, when he fell sick in London, and having received the sacraments of the church, died a holy death in the Lord, in the year 1200. All the noble men of England attended his funeral at Lincoln, and the kings of England and Scotland. O Ramus! O God, who deedst excellently ennoble thy blessed confessor and bishop you with eminent good works, and famous signs and wonders, mercifully grant that his ensample may quicken us, and his graces enlighten us. Through our Lord Jesus Christ thy Son, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the unity of the Holy Ghost, one God, world without end. Amen.